What's up, YouTube? It's Yardy Town. Do all that type of stuff. We got the mission where the Green Berets met Russian Spit Snatch by Tacticor. Like, comment, subscribe, follow links in the description. And let's get into it, because I don't do all that talk stuff. The American like Green Berets are famous for their accomplishments as a special forces unit. Yet, it's surprising how many tales about these warriors are either little known or entirely forgotten. A prime example is what's believed to be the only joint mission between U.S. Special Forces and Russian Spetsnaz in history. It happened Spetsnaz. around spring of 2001 before the events of September 11th, which naturally altered the course of U.S. Special Operations forces permanently. During this time, the Green Berets weren't as well known to the public and didn't attract as much attention from the media. They were deployed worldwide, involved in training foreign yeah, they famous now, like militaries, mm -hmm. and occasionally That's undertaking covert nice operations. Forces. Combat was not common for these troops. However, despite it being technically a time of peace, the 1990s saw conflict erupt in Europe's Balkans region. As a result, the Green Berets were deployed to Bosnia and Kosovo for peacekeeping. Mark Zhikonia served as a Special Forces Weapons Sergeant within a team of the 10th Special Forces Group. His team was tasked with providing a support element to Russian forces responsible for patrolling a sector along the Serbian... Hey, let's give a shout out to the Green Berets. Let's, first, let's do that first. These people, they going out here, risking their lives. They, they should be giving millions. Government... You know what to do. Do the right thing and get them folks some millions. Y'all got it in the bag. The Kosovo border. Eventually, a Russian soldier rushed into their team's quarters seeking help after one of their comrades was shot and killed by an Albanian sniper. The Americans quickly aided their Russian counterparts by establishing a landing zone for a helicopter to evacuate the fallen soldier's body. The sniper responsible for the tragedy belonged to a militant faction operating in the demilitarized zone between Kosovo and Serbia, known as the Liberation Army of Presovo, Medveda, and Bohanjevacs, named after nearby villages. The captain of the U.S. Special Forces who led Zhikonia's team was fluent in Russian and had graduated from the Defense Language Institute. His skill greatly assisted the Green Berets in establishing a good relationship with the Russians. At one point, the Russians extended an invitation to their American counterparts to join them in a sauna, where they would drink vodka and compete to endure the intense heat for the longest period. They invited you to die. <laughs> they invited you to death. Who, who won't be in a sauna drinking vodka? <laughs> they also had a strange conversation with a Spetsnaz soldier about whether Russia would ever really launch nuclear weapons at America. While the Green Berets didn't see it as likely, the Russian soldier explained that during the Cold War, he genuinely thought that an American nuclear attack could happen at any time. Several days following the loss of the Russian soldier to the Albanian sniper, the Green Berets and Spetsnaz soldiers embarked on another joint border patrol along the muddy backcountry roads near the DMZ. As they ventured through the remote area, the Russians encountered a 25-year-old Albanian by the roadside. Visibly unkempt and sporting a green military belt, a curious sight given the desolate location. They decided to bring him back to their base for further questioning. They eventually obtained precise details about a UCPMB base camp from the man, who claimed it housed anywhere between 40 to 80 fighters. The prospect of action heightened as the captain declared that it was time to act. The Russian-American Special Operations team quickly acted on this intelligence to dismantle the enemy base camp. Zhikonia operated an MK-19 automatic grenade launcher from the turret of Damn. one of the U.S. Special Forces. That bitch shooting bombs. <laughs> hey, who be creating these weapons? Like, who was sitting in the lab was like, I want to make some that blow up everything and nothing at the same time. Yeah, let me go cook this up in the lab. You're it crazy. Was. While the Russians led the way in How their BTR during the joint <laughs> patrol towards an area called Vyaglava, a Serbian village where they suspected UCPMB camp was situated. 
As the patrol made its way up a hill along a narrow dirt pathway, they reached a gate where they spotted a UCPMB guard. He wore a red beret and clearly taken aback by the sight of the patrol. Two green berets detained the guard while the Spetsnaz soldiers swiftly exited their armored vehicle and advanced to the left side of the road, initiating their assault by stealthily maneuvering through the forest. From his position behind the MK-19, Jaconia heard shouts in Albanian, followed by the sound of gunfire. It marked his first experience in a firefight. With bullets flying, he knew he had to engage in the fight. He mowed down the forest in front of him with a fully automatic stream of 40 millimeter grenades. God damn! 40 millimeter grenades in the auto? Oh. He put a switch on a grenade launcher for real. <laughs> Less than a minute later, the captain called for a ceasefire. The Russians had stormed the base camp, navigating through natural tunnels of vegetation carved out by the UCPMB within the forest for camouflage. The Spetsnaz had captured multiple Albanian fighters and were leading them towards their vehicle in a march. Following the raid, the American troops invited the Russian soldiers to the bar in the basement of their team house for drinks. Just a few weeks later, the UCPMB laid down their arms and surrendered. But let us know what you think in the comments section below. If you found this content entertaining or helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Shout out Tacticore, man. This is a great video, great knowledge. Shout out to the, the people who lay down their lives every day to make sure these countries in their own respective countries are free. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description. I'm Yardy Till. I am out.